you are now looking at a completed site using Turbo Site Builder. And if I scroll down on the site, you'll notice that there is a testimonial area, there's a contact us area. And we're going to be doing this in this video. First, I'd like to show you the admin area of this particular site. Now you'll notice that this admin area has features, testimonials, pricing, contact footers, and then another admin area where you can change a few details including the theme. And we are going to actually start from scratch so that you can see how you would build a site like this. If you scroll through the various features you're going to be able to see each and every one and how you can build your own site one page from scratch. We are now in the admin area of a brand new site and what we're going to do is we are going to move logically throughout the menu. So we're going to move left to right and then through each menu we're going to move up and down. And you'll be able to make sense of this every time that you undertake this process. What we're going to do first is we are going to look to this part of the menu and you'll notice there that we're going to be able to change the background photo and what that's going to do is that's going to create that slide effect that we saw in that lawyer website and so we're going to start by clicking this image and you're going to notice right away that we're going to be given a choice to change the background image we want to make sure that our image is above 1600 by 900 pixels now the other thing that you'll want to make sure of is that it is of a low size and the maximum size is going to be 500 kilobytes or 500 KB. So let's go ahead and click the background image and I already have one ready for this. You'll have to find an image and we've given you some suggestions on where you might find images and you'll be able to look to an article that will give you 50 sites where you can find royalty free images. Now let's go ahead and click this change background image. And as I said, I already have one ready, so I'm going to click that link and click the image and then click open. And it's going to instantly populate inside of Turbo Site Builder. Now once I have my image in there, I have a couple of choices. I can decide whether or not I actually want this image into the in the presentation. I can also decide whether or not I want to filter. Now as soon as you get that image in there the best thing to do is to click your save changes button. You'll see it says cha save changes up there. And then you'll want to start to edit some of the text and so what you can do is to double click any text that you're going to be editing and that's throughout the entire site builder. You double click the text and you're going to be able to edit it. So now let's go ahead and write in here some ad copy. Once we're finished, all we've got to do is double click. We can now do our subheader. I'm going to write some text in there. Okay, we double click and it's locked in. We can click save changes again just to make sure that our changes are locked in. Now one of the things that we can do is we can eliminate this button and we don't have to have this button on top of there we can just click this link and it'll eliminate the button if we want to keep the button if we double click it we can actually put a link to a page there but in this particular case we're gonna keep that button out so we're going to click that link and then we're gonna click save changes and we can now repeat this process for the other slides so now all we've got to do is we've got to go to the second slide and do the same thing. We can decide on whether or not we're going to have the slide. We can decide on whether or not we're going to have the button. We're going to upload an image. We're going to decide on whether or not we want it visible in terms of the filter and then we're going to write our copy in there. So let's go ahead and do this for the next four slides. Now we've finished all four slides now and we've done the same thing. So we'll end by just making sure that our changes are saved here. You notice that we do not have the button. We've chosen to have the filter and we've chosen to let all the slides remain. Now remember we could decide that we don't want a particular slide in there and all we've got to do is click the button 
to get rid of a slide or to enable it back, we can do that. And so now all of our slides are ready in this area. And so now that we have completed the home page or the home feature, you'll notice that we've got some other sections that we need to do, the features, testimonials, pricing, contact, footer, and the mics. And we're going to move in that direction right now and we're going to move toward the features area. When we get to the features area, what you'll notice is that you've got some features that you have the ability to customize. And one of the things you're going to be able to do is to customize the icon, and then you're also going to be able to customize the text. And you have a number of icons available to you. You can get rid of some of these icons, and in this particular case, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make them invisible. And then we're going to leave these three. So what we're going to do now is we are going to write some text in here. And as you remember, all we've got to do is double click the text. And then we can write our text in there. All we've got to do is double click the description. And we can write our text in there. So let's do that for all three of these items. OK, so we've written our last headline. We're going to lock those in. And then we're going to click Save Changes. Now, let's say that we decide, well, we'd like to make one more visible. The problem is we don't like any of these icons. So what we can do is we can enable one more. And we can actually go and click on this icon to change it. We're actually going to get some other choices that we can use. And so let's go ahead and use one of these choices here. And you'll notice that, uh, that that choice there. And then we can go ahead and write in some text. OK, so we're going to lock those changes in. And then we're going to click Save Changes. Now, like all of the other pages, we can choose to enable this page. And it'll show up on our front page. Or we can tick, untick it. And it will not be enabled. Now, we've made sure that all of these items will not show at all, the ones that we disabled with the X. But we can disable the entire page by clicking this button. Now, in this case, we're going to allow the page to be seen. We're going to click Enable. And now we are ready now to move on to our testimonial section. When we get to the testimonial section, you'll notice right at the top that we can enable this page. And in this particular case, we're going to choose not to enable the page. But at the same time, though, we are going to put our testimonial in. So like all the other texts, we can double click the, the, the text and write it in there. And when we're done, of course, we just double click, save our changes. We can now edit this image for the customer who's actually giving the testimonial. And we'll just go to our hard drive and get that image. What you'll notice is that we need to have a resolution of 50 pixels to 50 pixels. So it's going to be a rather small image. So let's go ahead and find an image. I've actually already got one ready. When I get done with that, I can write in my customer's name by double clicking. I can also write in their website. I can double click there. And then my testimonial is ready. And this works for the most part just like the slide area. All I've got to do when I want to write another testimonial in is to click this button or go to the right and we can put in five testimonials or we can share with one now in this particular case we've chosen not even to enable this page we're gonna click save changes and now we're gonna move on to the next session now if we decide um, 
that uh, that that if we want to change this particular testimonials visibility in the group we can just click that link okay so now we are ready to move on to our pricing table when we get to the pricing table we're going to notice right away that we have quite a bit that we can customize on the pricing table we can choose to enable the page like we can in any other page we can also change the text at the top and that's what we're going to do right here once we're done all we've got to do is then lock that in and then click save changes now we've also got the ability to decide whether or not we're going to show these columns we can enable or disable the individual columns in this particular case we're going to disable the one in the middle we have the ability to customize the name of the plan in this particular case we're going to call this the gold plan we have the ability to change the price and the period of time Okay, we'll just save our changes to make sure they're locked in. Now, once again, we also have the ability to change the feature names. So we can actually add features here for the gold level. and you can customize as many of these as you like when you come to the bottom you're going to double click the button and you're going to be able then to edit this button and you're going to be able to change the title and you're going to be able to dictate where this button is going to go so if you have some button code you want to put in there you can actually put it in there now we're just going to put a dummy site in there we're going to double click and then we have our changes locked in we're going to click save changes so you have the ability to customize everything in the table and what we're going to do right now remember this one's not going to show up we're going to we have we have saved we have enabled the page and now we're now ready to move on to the contact details area now you'll notice in the contact details area once again we have the ability to enable the page in this case we're going to disable the page we're going to to assume that we're not going to be a local business here but what we want to do is to make sure that we can put this information in in case we are a local business or we're working with one we can actually add in our phone number our contact phone number we can actually write in an email and we can actually write in an address and we're going to click save changes and we're going to make sure our changes are locked in okay and with all of our other fields we can actually change and customize this message 
And instead of sending, saying send message, we can actually say something like contact us now. We'll double click that. And then we'll click save changes. Now, if you are a local business, you'll need to get your longitude and latitude by going to a spot on Google Maps, getting coordinates, and putting those coordinates into your box. And that is what will produce the map for you or for your customers when you are a local business. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep this page disabled. And now we are completed with our contact area and we're going to move on to the footer area. When we get to the footer area, there are a few things that we can customize and some very important things and distinctions we want to make here. Of course, like every other page, we can enable or disable the page. But importantly, we can actually add custom HTML to this footer. And we can put that custom HTML in this box. So anything that we have that we're, that we're hosting or that we like to put on a site or all of our sites, we can actually add that to this site also. The other thing that we've got the ability to customize, and we've got the customize and put our actual pan page here. We can put our actual Twitter address here. We can put our actual Google Plus address here. Okay, and when you have completed that, all you've got to do is click Save Changes. Now, there is one more area that we do want to take a look at, and that's this one, where we can actually change our login and password, but we can also change the theme. And in this particular case, we could decide that we don't like the orange theme, and we like green. We can save our changes. And now we've completed the last thing in the menus. So now all we've got to do is to go and check out our site. You'll notice then we've got a fantastic looking site. And we've got all of the images that we want to have in there. Now remember we can customize this. We can add a testimonial area if we want. And we can always do more customization here in the footer by putting in our own custom banner or custom image. Now that's it pretty much for the basic version. Now what you'll need to do is to go ahead and get started building your own one-page site.